Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about working as a software developer. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, talking about jobs, I recently got, I recently got my first job as a React developer. Congratulations! My first job was more vanilla and jQuery, JS jQuery based, otherwise I've been using React on and off over the past two years. Uh, any advice on how I can start, uh, start, how I can show that I am proactively learning and showing improvement to my new co-workers and fellow developers? I obviously care about software and try to learn outside of work and don't want to lose this job. Do you have any tips? Yes, yes I do. Um, so first things first, I very strongly suggest to you that you learn because you have an interest in doing so. And don't try to impress your coworkers and do not make your personal development about trying to impress them. Now what I'm saying here is basically not that you shouldn't like that you shouldn't do a good job. You should do a good job, but I want you to understand that your personal improvement and like where you want to head should be about what you want rather than what they want because otherwise you might get into that you know that proving mindset where you feel like you have I mean you kind of already there and I want you to know first and foremost guys this is like the nor most normal thing a junior can do. Every single software developer I've ever worked with who has a junior profile is one of two things usually. Either they're just getting into the philosopher stage and they think that every idea they have is genius, or they're scared shitless of all the seniors and they're trying to do their best to just keep their head above water and not be labeled as like unproductive or stupid or something like that. It really comes down to basically insecurity or and uh, or arrogance. That's usually the two buckets. So it's it's very normal what you're going through right now. So what I want you to remember is that your coworkers may not care about the job that they do even that you know I think that they should but they might not care whatsoever about you they might not care about what you do they may not care what's happening in the company they might just have an overall kind of apathetic attitude or like a, even a toxic one um, or they may care about other parts of their job that you don't really care about maybe you're really into react and they're really into scrum uh, CSS they might be into meetings, who knows, or like just office parties. It's really hard to say. Like there are so many different types of developers, right? So the w best thing that you can do is to try to share your journey as a software developer without being annoying about it. Now, what does that mean? Well, basically what it means is that if you can find a way to communicate to other people that hey I really like these things here but I also but also do that in a way that doesn't like force them to feel less about themselves or feel like they have to always listen to you or things like that to find a good balance imagine this imagine that you're at a party and you're gonna socialize with a bunch of strangers now if you go too strong or you come on too strong about the fact that you're a software developer you're just gonna keep on talking and you're gonna rope these poor people in to stand there and be a like they're gonna start out polite and just try to listen to you but if you keep on going for long enough they're gonna try to avoid you because you're stealing all their time and they feel they feel like you're just bothersome to deal with because you never let anybody else get the chance to say anything or they feel like you're you're too much if that makes sense. That's exactly what you want to avoid. You want to be that socialite at the party. You want to be that person who has, hey, I'm interested in that and this, what are you interested in? And then you have a little bit of a conversation about it and you're charming, everybody likes you and people go, oh yeah, yeah, that's that guy. Uh, he um, He's really into this and that thing. You know, I'm not so maybe not so interested or yeah, I'm very interested in that stuff. Yeah, he's super fun to talk to. That's what you're going for. That's exactly what you're going for. And the way to achieve this is, as I said, in a healthy manner, share your own journey as a software developer. So 
basically uh, to give you some concrete stuff, uh, maybe post some appropriate, uh, like post an appropriate amount, appropriate m amount of tips and like tutorials or things that you've been playing with or something like that to your Slack channel or like however you communicate in your community, right? And always, always, always start with these words. You guys probably already know this, but I found this article that was really cool or I found this really cool trick and it kind of goes like this. And I thought that was really cool. Always go in with this humble mindset that probably everybody else already knows this or probably everybody else is a like genius in comparison to you. Just always have that as the first starting point. Never start a conversation by saying, we should be doing this, you guys are doing that, we should be doing that, and this is the best way or that is the best way. Always just assume that everybody's smarter than you are when you communicate. You can, of course, on the inside think that you're the best programmer in the world, but always start a conversation that way because that is a very, very nice way to always make sure that you're not annoying people or causing, putting yourself in a situation where you're going to build up to a confrontation. Because trust me when I say this, guys, some of your coworkers are going to be fucking opinionated about stuff that they have no idea about, about stuff that they really shouldn't be talking about, uh, stuff they have a fraction of the necessary information to make an, a, a call on, but they're going to argue about it as if they were the people who wrote the book about the thing. And if you don't want, and this is this is also, this is a trade secret right here, or maybe it's just a trade secret for me, it was a trade secret uh, for me at the very least, you're gonna have to realize that you have nothing to gain at all by winning an argument, a public argument, yeah, about the, with the, one of your coworkers. Usually, you have nothing to gain. It sounds weird. I promise you, it sounds weird. But you you have more to lose than to win if you do that, because basically you risk. It's this. It's it's. Uh, you all, uh, when you do it, you risk saying something or doing something that somebody else triggers somebody else, and all of a sudden you're the one in hot water. So if you can find a way to always communicate in a fashion where it doesn't really matter what anybody else says, you have said your piece, people have you have un people have understood your piece, and you have not in any way caused a situation where so you where like someone can interpret you as being threatening, even if they were super offensive, that's fine. Let them be offensive, because it's that's the thing that's going to come and kill them. But if you indulge your side, like you know, if you get into it with them, and you all of a sudden go to, you know, I'm not saying go to come to blows, you're both in hot water. So always make sure that you communicate in a way where you're sharing thoughts and ideas and opinions without ever cause, uh, setting yourself up for being roped into. Well. Yeah, this other dude that you were working with, he was very inappropriate. But you kind of led him on. Like, they, they don't get to that point where you have to go into the go to the principal's office with your bully, because somebody could somebody who a third party said that you triggered the whole thing when it was really that idiot who was hitting you first. If that makes sense. So, what I want you to take away from this is that what you want is to try to find a way. To like, don't make your personal growth and your career about impressing other people at work. Don't do that because it's not you're not going to win. All you're going to do is that you're going to try to impress a bunch of people who, at the end of the day, if they're going to be your friends, they're going to organically become your friends. But most of them you're never going to see again after you switch jobs, and you're never going to talk to them again. Try to gain the learnings and experiences that they have, listen to them, share your ideas, share your thoughts, and grow in that environment, but don't treat them as more than they are. They are people who may or may not have been doing this for longer than you. That's all they are. That's all they're ever going to be. And you focus on you. You focus on trying to improve your personal development, to show that you are enthusiastic and that you care and all this stuff, to communicate the right things. Share your journey. That's all you have to do. You don't have to try to impress anybody because if you're, if, trust me when I say this, you will impress more people by just communicating things that you find along the way than if you're trying to be impressive. You want an example? This little YouTube video of mine that I'm making right now, it's just one of hundreds, if not, well, it's actually thousands now, that I have made. I have put less effort into this thing. I'm not, I'm not trying to impress anybody, but the sheer fact that I've been consistent in do making these videos is enough that quite a lot of the, uh, of the time my little hobby channel here is quote unquote impressive to my employers and to my coworkers and things like that. And it was never the intention. I'm just doing this because it's fun. But 
I've been doing it for so long that it just kind of turned out that way. And that's the best way for you, I think, as well, to think. It's the same way most of people who do things that are great. Like, they are not necessarily trying to become famous or trying to become this or that. They're just doing something and sharing it with other people. And then other people appreciate it when, you know, when it, when it resonates. And so my suggestion is try to share your journey in a public way if possible because I mean uh, as you can imagine if you have a bit of a community name in the IT world that's gonna help you if you want to be a CTO or like a top-level architect at some point uh, but at the very least take this with you when you're sharing your tips and your tricks and your ideas and your thoughts and stuff like that always try to communicate in this way you probably already know this but I found this article or this idea or this thing and I thought it was pretty cool always start with like that just assume that everybody else is smarter because it doesn't really matter if they're smarter or not. Just communicate in that fashion and you will get your ideas through. They will see that you are communicating and the people who make the decisions in your company are going to see that you are contributing to the community without starting a conflict. Have a great day.